Hey everyone, and welcome to the YouTube channel Light Sirens Action. Today you have once again tuned in on a Medication Monday, but if you don't already know what Medication Monday is, it is a quick little mini series that airs every single Monday where I highlight a different EMS drug that we administer out in the field. I do this specifically in EMT drug card format. This is to help you grasp a better understanding of your pharmacology and to assist you with your EMT drug cards. Please, as always, remember your scope of practice and your local protocol. Everybody's protocol is different and it's very important to remember and know yours very well. Today's drug is called diphenhydramine, and diphenhydramine is more commonly known to the public as Benadryl. So whenever you think about Benadryl, you probably think, my allergies are acting up, I'm going to take a Benadryl, and hopefully this runny nose will go away. But it is actually a very useful drug in the EMS field. It falls under the class of antihistamines. So let's talk about how it works in the human body by giving you an example. So an antigen, and if you don't already know what an antigen is, it is a foreign body or foreign substance. So for this example, your antigen is going to be a banana, and the person is extremely allergic to bananas. So let's say they eat a banana, and immediately what happens in the body is an immune response. When that happens, histamines and serotonin is released into the body, and that causes widespread vasodilation and bronchoconstriction. So essentially, your airway is closing up, and all your veins and vessels are dilating. Benadryl comes in and it blocks those histamine receptors. And so the vasodilation and the bronchoconstriction is reversed. Diphenhydramine is also used to reverse extrapyramidal reactions. And when I'm talking about extrapyramidal reactions, I more or less am talking about the dystonic reactions that we'll get into a little bit later. Your indications for diphenhydramine are going to be allergic reactions, anaphylaxis, dystonic reactions, and also in some protocol. I know specifically in my state it's been taken out, but there are some states where it's still in there. Benadryl can be used for motion sickness as well. Okay, let's talk dosages a little bit. As always, please abide by your local protocol. Your dose for an adult is going to be 25 to 50 milligrams slow IV or IO push, or you can give it deep intramuscular. Your pediatric dose is going to be one milligram per kilogram slow IV or IO push, or once again, deep IM. But I will tell you, from what I hear, the intramuscular diphenhydramine is very painful, so just be aware of that. Your contraindications are going to be known hypersensitivity, asthma, definitely asthma, guys. Narrow angle glaucoma, it is not indicated in infants or neonates, or even those taking MAOIs. Your adverse reactions will be drowsiness, sedation, seizures, hypotension, dry mouth, or blurred vision, but the most common adverse reactions that we see out in the field are certainly going to be drowsiness and sedation. How it is supplied, it actually comes in 50 milligrams in one ml vial. Here are some side notes about Benadryl. Remember that it potentiates the effects of narcotics, alcohol, and sedatives. So if your patient was already going to be sleepy and a bit hypotensive after your Benadryl, if it's given in conjunction with one or more of the three things that I listed, you can expect that reaction and more. So just be aware of this side effect. Do not give Benadryl fast through an IV or an IO line. This can actually induce the feeling of impending doom in your patient. And honestly, guys, as EMS professionals, we should not be slamming any drugs on any patients because we don't know how they're going to react to them. There are exceptions to this, like adenosine, but for the most part, don't slam medications on your patients. I personally have experience with having Benadryl slammed on me, and let me tell you, it is a terrible feeling, so don't do it to your patients. You will typically see the reaction to the Benadryl between 10 and 15 minutes after it's given. But if you're giving this for anaphylaxis, and I'm talking true anaphylaxis, not just like a localized reaction, you should definitely give this in conjunction with epinephrine because epi will get into the system, it will act quick, 
and it will bide you time for your Benadryl to be given and to start kicking in and reversing that allergic reaction. Also, you may be able to see an immediate effect in dystonic reactions. And if you don't know what a dystonic reaction is, I definitely encourage you to go read up on that because even though it's a rare type of reaction, you could come across it in your EMS career. If you do come across it, just be aware that it is typically a reaction to a neuroleptic uh, medication and it is actually kind of a trippy reaction. So read up on it and tell me what you think and if you want a video about it in the future, I'd be more than willing to make one. But if you give this to a dystonic reaction, usually that will clear up right away, unlike in anaphylaxis. As always, y'all remember to abide by your local protocol and scope of practice. This is purely informational for those in the EMS field, and it is never meant to be, be used in place of local protocol. Thank you so much for watching every single Monday, and I will see you next week. Bye.